Hello and welcome. I am the student tie dip and shoe guy, and this is the number 31 short format review. So Husky, long cut winter green. What is it? Taking a look at the packaging, it is a silver plastic lid with a slight depression and raised thin rim. You are looking at a sticker. It is in two different colors of green, sort of a forest, and then a lighter Kelly, and silver. The sticker is actually textured up in the darker green. It's an all right plastic lid. Going to the side, you have general information, such as this being a 100% American tobacco product, underage sale prohibited, sale only allowed in the United States, and of course, because it's US smokeless, this is smokeless tobacco. The scrunched US smokeless warning label. Then you have branding, cut and flavor, barcode, manufacturer's information, and then the large branding. So the manufacturer's information is that this is a product of the US smokeless tobacco company of Nashville, Tennessee. All right, the makers of Husky, Copenhagen, Skoll, and Red Seal. The website for this product is just the general US smokeless tobacco.com. All right, it does not have its own website like the others. The can is a standard 1.2 net weight ounce can, thus, they have it in the guaranteed fresh stamped and a sell-by date, which is January 26th, 2020. All right, so I'm gonna cut right into this. Um, Husky is a dying line in my mind. If, if anything was to disappear from US Smokeless, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my money on Husky. Uh, they used to have a fairly full line uh, winter green fine cut winter green fine cut natural a mint I believe there might have been a long cut natural too and now you have this product and the fine cut natural that's the only ones I am seeing online and I don't know if I got this can open because I've lost the thumbnail basically here there we go yeah, I wasn't even close on that. <laughs> Opening it up. That's what you're looking at. The lid is not as good as a Red Seal lid, but it is better than a Pinkerton. In the can, slight more of a brown tinge in person. The product looks fairly moist. There are a couple inconsistent pieces in it. The smell off the product is winter green, but it, there's nothing telling you that it's sweet, all right? It's, it's a pretty straight winter green smell, but unlike, let's say, the Copenhagen product, it's, it's not suggesting sweet. So getting into the can... It's, the cut is okay. The moisture level is okay. It's not, it's not the moistest product. It's not as dry as, let's say, Skull. As I, <laughs> back in a minute. So. Husky Long Cut Winter Green. This is what it is. It is a fairly good tasting, yet not overly sweet winter green. All right. There is a significant burn with this product, like lip burn. If you're one of the guys, I don't care for that personally myself. It's part of one of the reasons why I don't overly care for winter green. With this one, though, if you're a guy that likes that, this has it. All right. It is not sweet like Copenhagen. 
all right? It is not as moist as Copenhagen. It is more moist, though, than the Skull Classic Winter Green. The cut is okay. It's clingy. It's sort of somewhat reminiscent of the Skull Cut. There usually are some inconsistencies strewn about the can. Nothing uncomfortable, you know, no, nothing crazy. But it is not as finely milled as Skull and Copenhagen products. So... The packaging's okay. It's got the standard U.S. smokeless can. The lid, although not as good as the Red Seal can lid, it's all right. It's not as bad as a Pinkerton product. It's not as bad as a Longhorn lid or something like that. Uh, the flavor is, as I said, it's not overly sweet. I guess compared to a natural, it leans sweeter than, let's say, a natural dip. But it, it's not a Copenhagen sweet. Um, it's not overbearing, though, either. The winter green is, it, it's sort of in, in the middle. Just a little bit enough to cover the tobacco better than a Skull product, but n not too much past that, if that makes any sense. Uh, so, in the mouth, it stays together well. No real floaters to speak of. Um it spits okay. As I said, it's not as dry as Skull, but it does. It's drier than a Copenhagen product and definitely drier than my Stokers. So it's not going to start producing a lot of spit with me, not right away anyway, outside of the burn. And the burn is, you know what? If you're a guy that likes Grizzlies wintergreen with the whole mouth feel and everything, you may want to give this a try if you can find it. That said, although this is a budget line by U.S. Smokeless, it's probably still priced higher than a Grizzly. So, you know, I don't know because this is one of the deals that I always have to get shipped in. So, I guess that covers it. Oh, the nicotine is definitely there. Nicotine is good on this. So, this has been the short format review of Husky Long Cut Winter Green from U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.